Sup, nerds? Let's play this video game. The Memory Den. The Den of Memories. That'd be a pretty good name for a strip club. The Memory Den. For people who played Fallout and would get the pun. Girls, girls, girls. I ain't gonna steal no vodka bottle. Come on, Cod. How you doing? Hey, Nick. Hi there. Here for Maybe I'm here to talk to you. Hey, Irma. Hey, Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt itself. All right. All right. I guess we're done talking. I don't know where Nick went. Uh, it's just downstairs. Hi. Hello, Kent. Hi. Hi. Good neighbors crazy. Babs, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. That's pretty crazy. I hear you. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. I guess so. First aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I'm from the past. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! It's just like Mr. Abominable <laughs> in episode 83. <laughs> Try to remember. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> we found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. Yeah, there's glimmers of. Seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering. Codsworth will like that. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City. Yeah. But over oh, here, Valentine like that too. We got a ways to go. He ain't even with us, and he I liked. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. Agreed. It's a quality few have. Yeah, everyone's liking what I'm saying. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. Pretty crazy. But to make this work, I still need the most Oh, I already... Don't I already have that? The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help Yeah, me? I already have it. As it happens. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Nice. Yeah, here we go. go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. What? I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler Jarvey Blake. But the shroud is strong. You guys like what I did? Capable. Believe in yourself. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. Yeah, Codsworth. Yeah. <laughs> so many very moments. Origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. Yeah. I could call them the shroud. I think I get to be the shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Reduces damage from humans. Okay. Oh my god, you see that armor? When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the silver shroud is Do I need to like kill people? All right, Kit is fucking crazy, I guess. Come out. What does the silver shroud costume provide me with? Cuz like it's it's a costume, so 42 42 agility and perception, so not really my stats is the only problem. But it is the whole suit. So my strength will go down. I think a lot will go down. My strength and endurance will go down by fucking... Oh my god. I will lose so much melee damage. Um, but we'll do that later. I guess Nick went this way. Hello? 
I come out to clean up the pipe. Oh, I do not. Uh, I know steel. Uh, I open door. Um, this is uh, this is empty room for mutilations. Where are these stairs? Cotton, cotton, copper, copper, copper. Where where do I go? Back here? Are, are there stairs here? Oh, drugs. That's always cool. How did you? Oh, I'm retarded. Uh, what's up here? Doc. Uh, computer, uh, bed, uh, desk, uh, do you got any magazines, got any light reading? Oh, no, no light reading. I bet there's something in this basement. Hey, Nick. ba da ba 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 Includes the. Why is it always the games? Oh, I should probably uh probably uh, I can't move. Oh, I'm in the. Yeah, turn on my flashlight. Oh, hello there. Uh, lit. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. But he's dead. How did he die? I know it's asking for a mirror, <sighs> But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Yes. Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. You're useless. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. And so do we. I'll take a look, but no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. Man, what if you that's killed him and didn't even loot him? Brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? That's not... Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. That's crazy. Go on. Go on Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when you found your son. <laughs> All right, let's do this. How are we gonna put this in his head? Cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. Let's see. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? A lot of flashes. Static. I, I can't make sense of any of it. I can. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. Oh no! Here's the Institute has one last basic. There's a lock on the memories in the infant. Oh no. Is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Yay. Hopefully it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. That doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for us. I'm listening. Load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory. He'll act as a host while you're. Uh huh. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. I feel like bringing people who like you to do good things is the way to do story quests. You didn't need them, right? What in the fuck? <laughs> Don't fry my brain, Doc. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. Please stand by. This train is departing. Why well, is there a TV screen? What does this do? It's, I thought it was like diving in his brain. No, 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 Alright, I'm holding on. Whoa! 
Okay, uh, white screen. Uh, the game crashed. Darn. And that's our Let's Play. Thank you for watching. Oh, I should ask my buddies if they want to play um, Vermintide tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying the Vermintide. I'm having a lot of fun playing that game. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. One sec, sorry. I want to send this message now. Because one of the guys I play with, Randall, he's on um, California time. Okay. What? What? <laughs> Whoa. I don't know why. This is making me think of um Spore. And the floor is making me think of Kingdom Hearts. I have... This may prove disorienting at first. Who am? Oh, we Kellogg. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. This stuff Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete to be asshole. Another intact memory close to you in Mom knew how it was. Shut up. She wasn't soft, but uh, Try that one. Shut up. Me in her way. And she protected me from Dad. He was reading some groggy. That cost her more than a few beatings. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? Nothing, you're a kid, you don't have to. I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. All right. I told myself oh. I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. I don't know what it is about kids in these games. So they always seem, like, bigger than they should be. Like, he's in, like, footy pajamas. But to me, it looks like he's, like, 13. Maybe he's just a mama's boy. Hello. Hey, Butch. The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it. And it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but, uh... I feel like I'm jumping higher than I normally would. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job. Hello, or evil baby. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after. That's cool. Can you, like... You really understand. Oh, no, the bridge is always there. Okay, I thought I could only see it out the window. I was like, that's... That scrubby damn dishes. the worst thing. I knocked over this. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. No. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived. Spoiler alert, me. man. I did your baby. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter. My God, this is like the ultimate pity party. This is like, um... You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? Can't spread. They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come Kind of green. Just wait. Oh, like they're scrubs. As soon as I make the connections I need, then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary too. I never worried about it before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. Who knew I had those? Do do do. Great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the sheep. Shiakazi. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Do 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 do. See this? Oh my God! This is what's gonna keep you. Showed a gun, right? Yeah, gun. I promise. I know. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy. Connie. 
You are. Because his name is Connor Kellogg. I was about to say, it's not a baby memory if someone doesn't pick up the baby. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Alright, I'm gonna stop doing the freeze frame and just let the scenes play out. Because these scenes are way too fucking long to keep my interest. Do, do, do. Do. I mean, it's just hard to give a shit about it. It was like such an asshole. Alright, come on, man. Let's go. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? Hey, basically doing what he did to me. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us? Yes. And we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Are like, you didn't even give a shit about this guy? This dude's an asshole. Yeah, you know, what do you got? Ooh. FBI. Another memory to draw. I'll connect you. Alright, I guess we're doing some faster ones now. That's nice. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I mean, he killed my wife without remorse and he kidnapped my son. This dude's an asshole. I'm not gonna feel bad. Oh, uh, he, he grew, he's a product of his environment. Uh, no. Sit down. Suit yourself. What is wrong with his hair? There we go. So. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Yes, you're the Institute. Exactly. If you pay me, oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself. That's right. He didn't, though. We pay you. The job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Not well, dead. It's like this. Oh. There's his family. Lives down the creek. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Oh, I have to access the memory while he's doing it? What is this trash? Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna watch the scenes. I don't care about his monologue. Oh, I became so edgy after my wife was murdered. I don't know. Family death is like I always feel like it's the most boring story. Oh here we go. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But hey, I cutie. Figured, they were just How are your eyes moving when everyone's frozen in time space? That ever happened. They were real, all right. Do this one. The first sense weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. and kept making them better each time. You still so. getting the creeps, but... You have to get used to it. What about this coffee cup? The Institute. Plot, plot, plot. The Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. Ah, oh, no, this is all moves. <laughs> it's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations. Lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you. I can see only one way out. It's sexy. Look at that ass. Mr. Kellogg. You hired me. Working for you? There's no more problem. What a pussy. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand. He's gonna kill all the things with me like I think I do. I think I do. Very well. B748. Initiate. Why wouldn't they just shoot him? Why would a bunch of robots care about another robot's life? Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell How did he find them in the first place if we can't even find them? I think we went too far. Ah, oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Whee! No, look, it's the part where they kill my wife. Biogenic yeah, I was thinking. I was now the Institute's main operator. In the Let's go look at me. They needed something done. That's not me. That's not me. Yeah. Unusual for anybody. <laughs> Look at that nose. This one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but... Uh, Never like to. Why am I the backup? Yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but... Uh, Holy shit. 
still here. Oh, oh no. Oh, good. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Yeah, and said you just left me alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. Um, but I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow... Yeah, you didn't know. That's a fucking barbarian in there. At least I know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them. Oh, uh, he knows I'm a beast. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. He's probably accessing my memories right now. The computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just right. found another intact memory. Eh, you know what? I know what happens here. We're just gonna go to the next one. I think I can actually just skip all these if I just walk up to the memory block. Now he's gonna have my child. Yep. See that face? What's he reading? Oh, he's a nerd. Sean. It wasn't my idea to settle down with a kid in the middle of Diamond City. I thought it was a terrible idea. Ugh, I really just don't give a shit. But Where's the next? It's one of the old man's pet projects. Where is the next memory line? Me and the kid. Ugh, I guess I'm stuck here. Like a happy little family. And I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had. Catalog, okay, where's my mom? Oh, she's dead. I killed the fuck out of her. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. All right, great. Just, just fast forward, please. Just do the memory. So I'm gonna come through the door. We're taking the kid. Hold on, hold on. Oh look, pussy's on the radio. Oh, he's talking about Pipper. Oh look. Hello. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Gasp. Left? As in... Ramoost. He's gone rogue. Names, Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's... All over. But the cry... Where's the radiation? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys. So. But the jury. I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Good job, idiot. Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Beep boop. Okay. Fucking Neo from the Matrix over here. Beam me up, Scotty. I already know they do that, so. I don't even get why it was that big of a surprise if we're gonna level with each other. Okay. Six eighty-eight. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Oh fucker. Bye. You got blood on my face. That doesn't really make sense, actually. So they just built themselves in a bunker? Like, I sure hope we can make teleportation technology. Okay, where's out the TV? Thank God. Alright. Episode's over. Bye.